I've spoken before on this channel about how birth rates are collapsing across the Western world, and that's been a precursor for our leaders to flood Western nations with immigrants from the third world. Now, one could argue the collapse in birth rates is due to the inherent self-centeredness of liberalism, but I also think there are huge things going on here that never really see the light of day that it would be very worthwhile to cover. The first of these is the absolutely huge issue that no one covers that men are being tempted in this era like never before. Now, whether you think this is some intentional psyop or just a result of liberalism is up to you, but we have to be honest, young men now grow up with huge temptation towards hookup culture and pornography. In a sense, this has given their lower natures more opportunity for expression than ever. I read some research not long back that stated that one man in one porn viewing session will see as many naked women as his evolutionary ancestors would in a lifetime. This means that many men are getting lost in what's known as high stimuli. That's, there's so many opportunities for hookups and to see naked women that one woman just doesn't do it for them anymore. Add to that, there's no great deep meaning to life anymore, and many men find themselves lost in the passions of the world. Another issue with having no deeper transcendent meaning to life is women have largely been taken over by ideology, specifically radical feminism. While the marketing around feminism is all about empowerment and freedom and so forth, in real social terms, what it's led to is men and women competing with each other instead of complementing one another. Now, you can probably see how that's led to huge social breakdowns in the family, as well as social harmony. Most women grow up these days being told by education and the media that it's their job to show those toxic men who's boss. What this has ultimately led to is the realisation of the 60s dream of free love, i.e. lots of short-term fun, no strings, don't have to worry about attachments, but of course, in time, it leads to long-term consequences. One of the saddest phenomenons we're seeing happening across major cities in the Western world is the 80-20 dynamic. What this essentially is, is that 20% of the top men in dating pools, that means the dating apps these days, get the choice of 80% of the women. The research has shown us that most women tend to aim upwards in their dating lives. That means they want the richest man, the best looking man, the most intelligent man, the most social man, and so on and so on. What that means is men who fit that bill are swamped with all manner of attention from all sorts of women, both the very attractive ones to the more average looking ones, and henceforth the vast majority of men are left out. Now this has led to a situation in the Western world where it's not uncommon for men and women around the age of 25 to have had up to 100 sexual partners, while others the same age may have had one or two or maybe none at all. This means that many men are simply backing out of even bothering with dating. There was a movement which started a few years ago called MGTOW. It means men going their own way. They were so sick of the modern dating market, they think it's just easier to be single and rely on the sex industry for their needs. And on the flip side, with the women, many of them have just focused in on career and they've slept around throughout their 20s and early 30s and then find themselves in their mid-30s. Career's going great, but increasingly have found it hard to bond with a man, one, because they've had so many partners, and two, because they get older and more bitter and more stressed by the challenges of life. In essence, they essentially make themselves undateable career women and in time take themselves out of the gene pool because time runs out for them to reproduce. They'll be lucky if they can have one kid. Now, a lot of this may sound like it's very niche, but believe me, I've lived in London. I've seen it. This is really happening to what would be high quality men and women. And of course, now I'm married, I see the flip side of it as well. There's a big movement online now called the trad wife movement, which is trying to reawaken traditional values for a chaotic generation. And predictably enough, what this has led to is right-leaning women adopting the trad wife lifestyle and then finding it didn't work out for them. Why? Because it wasn't rooted in the love that's in Christian values, but in an ideology which is simply anti-woke. But anyway, this is why the modern dating market is in such a mess and birth rates are collapsing. But what can we do about all of this? What's the solution? Well, as I often say, the only solution is to wait for some form of collapse until we can reawaken meaningful values that offer us more than simple female empowerment, which is really just self-centeredness, and male pleasure. 
This is why I hold out great hope that we will see a massive spiritual, societal and personal reawakening once we get through the chaotic fires of liberalism. These are just my thoughts, however. Do let me know what you think down below and do consider subscribing to the channel.